Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. How is everybody doing today? Happy Wednesday to everybody. Um, Yeah, guys, what's going on? Is everybody patiently waiting for these results to come in or what? How long is it going to take? Um, I'm hearing that it could take till Friday for these final uh, results to get tallied up and See who's going to become the next big, uh, the next big, uh, person, uh, to run our country, man. Yes, absolutely. But anyway, um, guys, a few days ago, a few days ago, I, um, I shot the good old video with showing my canoes, my canoe pattern knives. So, well... I mean, I figured I was sitting there and I said, you know something, let me shoot a few trappers. I shot the canoes. Let's go for the trappers now. So if you guys don't mind, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I have a few trappers out. and f at Once again, here we go. Pete can't find a couple. Um, the story of my life. Until I go through all that stuff in there. And I keep the pot and I separate pile for pile and it's easy to get to, then then I'll be able to find everything okay. But anyway, let's get right into it. Check this Rough Rider out. This is in the Copper series. And when I got this one, um oh, she was as shiny as a baby's bottom. Look at the patina that this has taken on. I'm going to get close as I can. But the patina is just beautiful. It's different. It is different than any other of the patinas that I've seen. It is taking such a wonderful, such a just wonderful patina, these buck, these uh, copper series knives. This is a Rough Rider. And um, this one, this particular one's got the black, um, the black coated blade. Look at that clip blade. I mean, they put the clip blades on trappers are like nothing else. They are just beautiful. Man, they're they're thin. They come. Ah, oh, they just. They do it for me. And they are extremely sharp. I'll shut that one right up there. And then we go like this. Now, I mean, guys, you could get, I mean, the, if you're carrying one of these, I mean, sky's the limit. There's nothing you're not doing. Because they are so, if you hold it, they are so heavy duty and built so well. And the combination of these two blades, I mean, show me a knife that you could do more with. Now, this happens to be the spay blade, okay? This is what they use, they used to use um, on the farm. This is what I, yeah, when, when they were castrating the cows, see the blunted tip up here? It didn't cut them. So what happened was you would go underneath the nut sack, the nuts, and then you would pull back and slice the balls right off. You'd slice the balls right off the cow without, without nicking the cow's balls. See? This is meant to slide right under, just like a seatbelt in a car. This is a dynamite blade for a seatbelt in a car. If you're trying to cut somebody out of a car, God forbid. But anyway, th this knife is just useful all around. I mean, I love uh, this uh, blade. You can just do everything with this bugger. Fit and finish is dynamite on it. Just absolutely. I just love this piece. This is in the Copper Series. Um... But yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. 
and we have to get through these guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. This is my favorite one. Look at this Rough Rider in this green micarta. I've never, never have I seen micarta done on a knife like that. Look at this fit and finish, will you? Guys, this is like a $15 knife. Here we go. I mean, come on. What more can we ask for? I mean, oh my God. Look at this thing. Look at that blade. Along with this, um, this green, this green micarta. This is the best, this is the best knife right now. I call it. Man, the action is just impeccable. Impeccable. Oh, man. I love this Rough Rider, too. This one's got, look at the, how that copper took and patinaed. This is rose gold, they call this. They call this, if you look at the blade, it's like a rose color. Isn't that beautiful? It's, it's literally like a rose color gold. I love this one. It's got like a rope style G10 on it. Look at this skate. Look at the covers on this one. This is a really, really nice uh, piece, guys. And I'm not going to keep on talking about fit and finish. You guys see it. I mean, this is a really, really... I like this one quite a bit. I just like the way it looks. Look at that. I mean, it, it, there's nothing to say about these Rough Riders. They're just, they're just awesome. This is my favorite one. This is my most expensive one. Woohoo! 20 bucks, guys. Look what I dropped. 20 beans for this Rough Rider Trapper. Now, tell me this sucker is not absolutely beautiful. Look at that. They call it the checker. Um, I do believe when I ordered it, it's called the checker pattern. But just, I, I, I don't even have words. I really don't. I don't even have words for this one. I've never seen anything so beautiful in my life. I just take it out once in a while and I just do like I'm doing now. I just turn it and I just look at it. I'm like, man, that thing is just unbelievable for 20 bucks. For 20 bucks, man. It's like fit and finish is just... I don't know. Yeah, I know it's made in China. Okay, I understand that. Oh, believe me. If there's anyone that gets it, I get it. Here's my case. I love uh, synthetic um, scales, covers. They're so, they're so smooth. Um, you know, they're just something about synthetic scales. I just like synthetic scales. Um... But you got the oval case script in there. It's just a nice, nice, nice blade. This one, I've had this one from the beginning of time. Look at the patina that is taking. That's seen some steak. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What's this blade look like? Um, hold on, guys. Bear with me. Look at that. Yeah, that's a that's a crazy patina on that one, isn't it? Look at that. I don't know what I was using that for. It's been a while with this piece, guys. I like it though. I like it a lot. That's that's what you do. That's what you get when you get these carbon steel blades, man. 
that that's the opportunity. That's the um, you know, that's what makes them so great. Those CV uh, blades, chrome vanadium. But that's a just just that yellow, that old school. You know, look at that. It's just old school, isn't it, guys? I love it. I just love it. I don't know. This is the all stripe Rough Rider, guys. This is another, another uh, great piece, Trapper. They call this one the all stripe uh, Rough Rider. Fit and finish is dynamite on it. They're good. They're good. I'm telling you, they're good. This one my wife liked a lot. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get it because you like it, honey. And I did too. It's the Appaloosa. It's the red Appaloosa. Check this out. My wife, uh, before we moved here, we had an Appaloosa horse. And uh, right before we were getting ready to transport her, she got sick. And she died. She didn't make the trip. But anyway, check this out, man. Is that not pretty or not? Tell me that's not pretty. I mean, this one might be like 18 bucks. If I'm not mistaken, uh, it was like 18 bucks. But look at the bone. Look at the bone on it. And look at the shield. It's got the horse in the middle. The RR, great piece. I mean, for me, I mean, to me, for my collection anyway. Here's a boker for you guys. Can't not have a boker in a collection, right? This is Appaloosa too, believe it or not. I think this is Appaloosa bone, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. But just look. Get up in on it. Let me try and see. Look at that bone. How beautiful. Is that not beautiful? The colors in that. Great piece. Great, great piece. I think there's one more here. Here you go. This is another just beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, yeah, it's fake. But um, it's turquoise. But look at this. Transitions are all smooth and everything. But look. Tell me that's not awesome. I love it. I love this piece. All right, guys. Yo, let me know what's going on. Um, I'd greatly appreciate a comment if you could uh, leave me a little something, something. And uh, let me know what's going on. And between, they have to be coming through soon, guys, because I'm staying up all night long waiting for these rough riders. They're not here yet, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. I ordered my roughies, my reserve roughies on Saturday. Saturday morning I ordered them, ladies and gentlemen. Can somebody please comment on... um? If they know when they, if they know when we think we're going to get them, because I got, I ordered them Saturday morning. I got the alert on my phone and danced over there and, and, and hit add to the cart and ordered all three of them. So when are we going to get them? They might be all backed up over there. We might be waiting weeks before we get our roughies. I don't know. All right, guys, I'm going to let you dance through, dance down the road. Stick with me. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about trappers. I, Tobias, I know you don't like them, bud. But uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys think about these trappers. And, uh, yeah, let me know what's going on, guys. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. All right, guys. Thanks again. Take care now.